I first read Farron, I felt that part of her journey was realizing that sometimes you don't conform to the world, you tell the world who you are and the world has to conform to you. Ms. Bryant, have you ever been injured? Um, she has scoliosis and a crazy scar on her back. In that case, I'm even more impressed. Farron's scar has ruled a lot of her decisions because the scar is what she feels makes her imperfect. And as a black woman, we're expected to be strong, but that need to be strong has made her cold and unable to connect with who she is. To be honest, I wasn't even sure you'd like dancing. The actual dancing, the purity of that, I love it. Corey would do anything for Farron, but what she thinks is best for Farron is perfection. And on Corey's quest for perfection, she scarred her daughter. Farron finds out that she never needed that surgery and her mom's been lying to her. You're gorgeous, but that scar. So what if I have a scar? If I can live with it, why can't you? We had a unique challenge when Farron was covering her scar because traditional ballet wear is almost always backless. So we had to cover it in a realistic way. We would have these fittings where we would try to figure out the mesh that would cover it. I can arrange to have the costume altered to cover your back. You don't need to alter my costume. I'm good. When we first meet Farron, she sees that scar as a flaw. And by the end of the season, she sees the scar as her biggest strength. Despite this chronic pain, her journey is representative of herself. You're gonna see all of me, and I'm still gonna be me. Tonight, I dance for all girls who have been scarred, inside and out. <laughs>